Hey folks, this is IOE Throw, and we're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is NASA. He is platooned up with Supreme Commander. Uh, and both of them are playing some overpowered Tier 4s. Unfortunately for them, they're in a Tier 6 game, so this is less overpowered and more... Ah! Um, so, yeah. The Panzer uh, 38 and a is a really good tank as far as just maneuverability and the gun and it's, it's just it, it's a good tank to pick a tier 4 if you you know want to go undetermined or you just want to troll the enemy team uh and we all know the Lux is amazing unless of course you get shot in the face by a t67 in which case it's less amazing all of these tanks that are cresting here can definitely hurt him and hurt him quite badly, except for that poor M5 Stewart, who he, apparently he just murdered slightly. Um, and then drives through this poor innocent fountain on his way to doing a pirouette. <laughs> um, oh, that is a bad place to get stuck. Is NASA comes out to take the next shot, but unfortunately, thankfully he doesn't have to. Um, as the enemy team decides not to commit to the attack. So these two guys being stuck stuck up here is kind of a problem because there isn't many maneuverable places they can go and like okay, shooting at the front of a church hill is never really gonna do anything, not in a Lux anyway. You're definitely not gonna go through that armor in this tank. Not without gold, and you can see he's not carrying any. In fact, has nothing but standard amp rounds in this tank, uh, which is going to make this a little bit difficult. So he decides the hill is a bad place for him to be, and he zips past the T-34 and leaves his friend to die, <laughs> and just runs away. Because, you know, sometimes you just have to know you're too cute to die. <laughs> Ooh, T-28. You know... What? What? Is it because you're on a hill? Or, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not because he's on a hill, it's because he's in a Lux. And he's too cute to die, right? The game's like, nope, nope. We're just going to roll you right over. And then he's just going to reverse towards this t and kill him. Unfortunately, he did put a couple shells into the friendly KB-85. But... You know, that's just kind of what happens sometimes. Up on the hill, meanwhile, they're getting absolutely swarmed and dominated, and Supreme Commander looks like he's in trouble. He is running for his life. He's got to go past that Churchill uh, 7, though. Was I calling it a Churchill 5 for the longest time? Oops. That's unfortunate. Um, me and my intelligence, right? That's a Churchill 3. He's putting shots up the tailpipe. Um, and that is, in fact, going to, well, it's not going to do much, but it's going to do some. And then he's going to reload, and he's probably going to try this again. Assuming, of course, that Churchill hasn't moved. If the Churchill's moved, then this could go differently. Ooh, with the KV-5 taking the lead, he destroyed that thing. I mean, he did 300 damage in a burst. That poor Churchill 3. I I I feel sorry for that Churchill 3. I don't know what he thought he was gonna do, but apparently I don't think he thought he was gonna get absolutely destroyed by Lux. Uh, so this M4 is moving across, tr probably trying to catch our artillery. In fact, all he's gonna catch are bullets. <laughs> and that is another enemy down. Thankfully, not spotted. I don't think he's fine anyway. Uh, otherwise, that M8A1 would, of course, be shooting us. Deciding to, you know, discretion's better for a Valor, and he's going to ambush this poor Cromwell. Cromwell, I mean, what do you got against a tank like a Cromwell? It's, it's just innocent. It's minding its own business. Why are you going to go jump on it and kill it? Well, it's not even looking in the right direction. He's got to be spotted at this point in time. The Cromwell's still paying attention the other way, and absolutely destroys him um he doesn't actually kill him himself he actually only gets about half his total damage out on the thing but 
It's distracts it enough that the KVA-5 takes the kill. Actually, the KVA-5 and the Cromwell killed each other at the same time. Um, we just helped. <laughs> right? So now there is a three-on-three. Three. It's a Churchill 7, a Hetzer, M5 Stewart versus not a Churchill 7. And some other little tanks. <laughs> so this... This is going to go badly, assuming we find the Churchill 7 head-on. If we can avoid the Churchill 7, though, we have the possibility of doing some really cool things. M5 obviously did not know we were there. It was looking purely at the M4. M4 either was going to go in for the kill just now, or... Um, I don't know exactly what he was doing. Uh, so, we know there's not a Churchill around this corner, because, of course, the M4 was right here. Um, so, looks like we're going to go and find a Churchill 7. Now, the Hetzer did kill the Hetzer, and, and you know, in a sad but um, ironic end, the Hetzer got hetzed. Um, so, now we're going to go and hunt down a Churchill. Can the Churchill one-shot him? I'm pretty sure the answer is no. But it can definitely two show him in a very short amount of time. Also, he's not going to be able to pen the thing. Unless he gets it in, in flush in the side. Maybe. What's his pen? Uh, maybe. He if he if he finds a weak point inside of that tank and he's not shooting through treads, he she should be able to go through the side of the tank. Uh, or the rear of the tank. He will definitely be able to go through the rear. Uh, he cannot do anything to the front of that tank. He can't do anything if it's slightly angled and, you know, he's shooting into treads. And he definitely ain't going through that turret front. Or probably even the turret sides are going to be an issue. Um, and I'm not sure I would shoot at the back of the turret. If you see the back of the turret, you're probably just okay shooting at the back of the tank. And hoping you light that thing on fire and cook it off. Other than that, though, I mean, there, there's not a whole lot to do. You gotta find the thing first, and so obviously that is part of the, the reason we're capping. It A, wins us the game if he delays for another minute and a half, and draws him towards us if he doesn't. However, I, I don't know where this Churchill has teleported himself to. Ooh, he's right there. He is looking at our allies, and we see the back of his tank pulling up ultra close. Gets a full magazine into the back of the Churchill. That was um, quite nice, actually. Now he's just going to run circles around this poor guy as he reloads. Hetzer hetzes him, and the M4 has not unloaded yet. Um, I'm not certain I would unload into the side, but he, he does, and one or two shells go through. And that is going to be the end of that. Poor Churchill 7 up against the smaller tanks. And he got <laughs> greedy and parked out in the open. If he had been up against a wall and he could have pulled back in time, he could have dealt with us in a much, much different way. But being out in the open, he was absolutely dominated and destroyed. And unfortunately, one kill off of a top gun. Ah, right? Oh, well. <laughs> At the end of the day, this was an awesome game. Thank you, NASA, for saying this in. We're going to jump over and see what you uh, you got out of this. Mastery badge. Of course, we expected that. Uh, fighter, fire for effect. An Oryx medal. For destroying two or more enemy tanks while in a light tank. And they must be at least a tier higher than you. I'm pretty sure, except for the T-80, everybody was higher tier than him. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well done. Um, actually, of all the people he, he actually hit, the only one he didn't kill for himself was the Cromwell. The, the others, if he did damage to it, he, he killed it. And the fact that total, he did three or 500 damage to a Churchill 3. That is impressive. Um, almost as impressive as 300 damage to a Churchill 7. In a Lux! Um, and 
Wow, look at that. Just he has most damage on the team in a bottom tier tank. Um, and I'm not certain this M4 would have been much use uh, had he managed to stick around. And of course, he helped destroy some of the top guys on the enemy team. Well done. Uh, just, just overall, I can't th think of anything else to say. This, this was a great game. And it was a joy to watch. Uh, <laughs> I feel like you deserve a cute tank badge now. Or something like that. I'll, uh, I'll see if I'm cooking one up in Discord. So, good job. Thank you so much for saying this in NASA. And I can't wait to see your next game. I can't wait to see the next Gox game all, all over, all told. Uh, whatever. You know, you know what I mean. Me and English today, not getting along so well. But we'll see you next time. This is IOE Throughout. <laughs>